Here's an example of a redox reaction. We're going to practice balancing this. Uh, for fun, I didn't put the states in, so let's for fun, doesn't have to do with balancing it, let's put the states in. If you see a metal all by itself, it's got to be a solid at room temperature. If you see anything with a charge, it's got to be aqueous. So those two have charge, those are aqueous. The last one you might not know, but NO, NO2, things like that, those are gases. So it's okay if you didn't know that one. To balance this, we're going to follow our set of rules that we knew from before. Uh, I gave you a little bit ago. We're going to split this up into half reactions, balance it, and then put it back together. Um, this is a redox type reaction. Let's look at the charges first. This is what really indicates uh, it, that it's a redox. Zinc is zero. How do I know zinc is zero? It's all by itself. It has a zero charge. Um, it has to be zero. NO3, we'll skip that for our uh, oxygen. We can do that one. That one's easy. Minus two. Whenever we see an oxygen, it's almost always minus two. And then, so if this oxygen is minus two, this nitrogen has to be plus two. Balance the charge. For zinc, they already give us the charge here. It's zinc two plus, it's plus two. The hard one's going to be this nitrogen right here. You can do this on scratch, where you go, the way I do it, nitrogen plus three oxygens equals the overall charge of minus one. So you got nitrogen, you got three oxygens, overall charge of minus one. Set up a little algebra equation. You know that three, I mean, uh, uh, nitrogen plus three times minus two equals minus one, or uh, nitrogen equals what charge? That's going to be plus five. Five minus six is minus one. So the nitrogen is plus one, or plus five. <laughs> so nitrogen goes down in oxidation state, so it's reduced. Its oxidation state goes from plus 5 to plus 2. Um, zinc oxidizes, or goes up in oxidation state from 0 to plus 2. Okay, let's split this up into half reactions. That's how we know it's a redox, because oxidation states or charges change in the reaction. This redox, you have to balance the redox way, usually. And so let's try that. We've got the zinc part. Zinc goes to zinc 2 plus, and we've got the uh, nitrogen part. Nitrate goes to N. Oh. Okay, so split it up like that, and then we're going to write in the pieces. And you can start with either one you want. Now, zinc again is being oxidized, so it's an oxidation reaction. Nitri the nitrogen is being reduced, so that's the reduction reaction on the bottom. All right. So for zinc, you always go through the same four steps. Sometimes those steps won't apply. Step one, uh, when you're balancing half reaction, you uh, balance the oxygens with water. But there's no oxygen. Step two, you balance the hydrogens. Oh, wait, I forgot step one. Step one, you balance the metal, anything or anything that's not oxygen or hydrogen. So uh, zinc, there's one zinc on both sides. That looks good. Step two is where you balance the oxygen, but in the zinc reaction, there's no oxygen. So you skip that. Step three is to balance the hydrogen, but in the zinc reaction there's no hydrogen. And step four is finally going to apply, you balance the charge. You balance the charge with electrons. The right hand side is plus two, left hand side is zero. So I'm going to add two electrons on the right hand side to make the charge equal on both sides. In this case it happens to be zero. Plus two minus two on the right hand side equals zero, which is the same as left hand side. Now let's go to the nitrogen. This one's going to be a little more involved. Step one, balance anything that's not oxygen or hydrogen. Well, that's nitrogen, and uh, it's one on each side, so it's set. Step two, balance the, carbon, uh, the oxygens. Balance the oxygen with water. There's three on the left, one on the right, so I need to add two waters. Adding two waters will uh, give me three oxygens on each side, but it messes up the hydrogen count. So, I need to fix the hydrogens, and that's my step three. Fix the hydrogens with H+. Plus. There's four on the right, so I want four on the left. Now, the hydrogens are fixed. The last step, 
when balancing half reactions, balance the charge. The overall charge on the right hand side is zero. On the left hand side, four plus four minus one. So four minus one or three. So it's plus three and zero. I'm gonna add electrons. Three electrons to the left hand side to make both sides the same charge, in this case happens to be zero. A uh, big hint for you is to remember that the electrons and the H pluses are almost always on the same side. Okay, both half reactions are balanced. These are called consecutive reactions or simultaneous reactions. We're going to add them back up to get our overall reaction. Let's do that. Plus. Now, when I add them up, remember I don't want intermediates. So my intermediates must cancel. Uh, and it's always true that in redox, electrons are my intermediates. So I'm going to multiply this out so that the intermediate, aka the electrons, cancel. And that, you always need to do that in a redox reaction. And you'll see if I multiply the top by three, three, the bottom by two, we have six electrons here, which will cancel with three times two, six electrons here. Let's add this up. Three, zinc. And I'll put the states in now, solid, plus 8H plus aqueous plus 2 nitrates. Aqueous goes to 3 zinc 2 plus aqueous plus 2 NO plus 4 H2O. Put the states, NO is a gas, H2O is a liquid. There we go. We've got both sides. I put my states back in. It looks pretty much simplified. I believe I'm done.